Just going to start with a little bit of eye cream. Now I've just dried my hair a little bit. So throughout this little tutorial, it'll start bouncing up a bit. So we'll see, we'll see if it annoys me or not. Here's my eye cream. So I've already moisturized so, and sunscreen, so I'm just gonna pop my primer on. I'm just gonna go in with my um, Mineral Liquid Foundation. That's this one here, it's the Young Blood. Now, I'm going to pop a very light base on to start off with. Uh, I'm not going too close to my under eyes because I'm gonna add some more at the end. Okay, so I just said I wouldn't go close to my under eyes and then I did my under eyes. But anyway, what I'm trying to do is I would like to do like a dark chocolate smoky eye today and I know there's going to be some fallout so we may have to clean up under there. This is a warmer foundation just to give myself a little bit of definition around the face. Just frame it, warm it up a little bit too. Okay, my apologies, I'm rushing the base. I really just wanna show you the eyes today. So this is a nice um, chocolate smoky, and I'm going to use the Fernando Hermes palette. You can see it's well worn. So I've basically just chosen that dark colour and coloured in the tops of my eyes. Now you can see what that's done is actually close my eyes off. So in order to open them up, we're going to use a slightly lighter colour and we're going to pop it into that crease. Now don't worry if this happens to you, you've just plonked the colour there and it looks like it's grabbed. Grab your brush and a little, um, these are like exfoliating pads and just Get rid of some of that excess powder and then just work it into that crease with little circular motions and windshield wiper motions. And you can just work that out. So don't stress, it will look better. And instantly that's blended that off a bit and it started to open that eye up rather than closing it off. Okay, so now they don't look so closed off, they're a little bit more opened up, but they are starting to look a little bit top heavy in my opinion. So I'm, I would like to run some color under here. I'm gonna pick that same lighter brown. In order to separate my brows from the eye makeup, I do like to put a lighter color just underneath that brow. And also a small amount in the inner corner. Yes, it looks like a huge amount, but don't worry. We will blend it out. Okay, so it wouldn't be a chocolate smoky eye without my favorite chocolate art, chocolate eyeliner, sorry. Um, and I'm gonna pop that up in the tie line. I'm also going to pop it on the top of my lash line as well. And a small amount just in the lash line here. For the lashes today, I'm going to mix it up. This is the Imco Beauty Extend Lash. It's a tubular mascara and it's really good. For the brows, because it's quite a dark look, 
I'm using Clinique's mascara once again. I find this such a clever little trick. You just have to be careful not to put too much in because it is mascara, so it is quite dark. But it really works a treat for my brows, like it's the perfect color. So that's like for me a little hack. And the brush is small, so just a tiny amount. And then I don't need any real brow gel either because it just holds it up. I will comb that through though. Okay, so clean up under the eyes. I'm gonna use a tiny amount of concealer. This is the NARS and Custard. Now you just want to sort of brighten the under eye area. So just a little bit here and a small amount here. And then we'll just sweep that out. So you don't want it too heavy because that's when it starts to get cakey and sit into your lines and creases. Then I like to go in with a little bit more foundation and just top up what I did earlier because I did do a very sheer base and this way you can just add to that makeup. I'm going to avoid where I've put that nice bronzer through there. Just patting that in, kind of using the brush a bit like a beauty blender. So just tapping that in just to give myself a little bit more coverage. See it's just a little bit more on that side. Still nice and dewy. So looking a little bit pale right now. So we're going in with the nude mattes. This is a, um, it's called Sunkissed. So it's like a, it's a face bronzer. It's a blush. It has a little brush at one end and the color at the other. Being a cream, it's quite nice to put this straight over because everything's nice, still nice and creamy. I haven't added any powder to my face yet. So I'm just putting that on my cheeks and up to give myself that bit of color and then I'm gonna brush that in. Nice young blood lip gloss. So from that Nude Collective palette, I'm just taking the light peachy eyeshadow and I'm using that as blush and just setting that creamy blush and it works a treat. Using that same colour, I'm just going to put a hint of that just through here just to soften that eye, the eye socket and bring it all together. Last but not least, a little bit of setting powder to set under the eyes and any of the areas that I have that excess shine. Now that's the makeup. Now I'm just going to go away, pop a little bit of something in this hair and see if I can make it look a bit better for you. <laughs> Okay, so not too much different with the curls. So anyway, that is my um, smoky eye using Fernando's Nude Collective palette. The link is in my bio should you wish to get one.